Let me get Cassie unmuted. I just unmuted you. I have to like find you. Oh, there you are. I see you dancing. That helped. Yep. It gave me the option to unmute. Oh, perfect. 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 Okay. So what we're going to do tonight, we, how many of you were at the conference? So like you remember this training Cassie and I did. So Cassie and I did a training at conference where we talked about branding yourself and knowing what to post about and what your main things to post about are. So Allie asked us to do this Zoom, not on, like not at conference, so that everyone who wasn't there could get the same training. So that's what we're going to work on today. Um, I'm super excited about this because I feel like when you figure out what your pillars are, that's when your interaction gets crazy. So how many of you put a one in the chat if you've looked at other leaders and you're like, how do they get like 200 comments on their giveaway post and I get four? Right? Like you're like, I don't understand. Like what is going on? So we're going to talk about how to really connect with your people so that you can boost your interaction. So we have a like a little activity to do in the beginning, but is there anything you want to say, Cass, before we get into that? Um, also, if you, I guess really just if you were at conference, this is going to be like an expansion as well. Like not just the same things we said there. Yeah. Does that makes sense. So it's going to be really good. Um, no, I think you can get started on the first part. Cool. Yeah, we're going to try to go a little bit more into detail. So please, if you guys have any questions throughout any of the process or any of the Zoom, put it in the chat because that'll help us to really figure out what we need to go more in depth on because we want you guys to leave this Zoom really understanding what branding yourself is and how to find those pillars and what those pillars are. So I'm going to share my screen to a document that I made for conference. Um, and you guys have probably done this in a different way where you just like kind of wrote like circles and then did little lines around it. I didn't know how to make that in a Word document. So I just did a list. Okay. So I got less fancy, but so what I want you to do, how we're going to fill this out is I'm just going to play music. We're going to put music on for like 10, 20 minutes because I really want you to think these through. So these words says pillar one, two, three, four, five. These are the biggest parts of you. Okay. So if you're a mom, if you have puppies, if you're like a big Christian, if you love to read, if you love to cook, if you love to bake, if you love hiking, okay, what are the big parts of you that you're like, I could talk to a million people about? Like, I have no problem talking to people about. That's what these five pillars are, okay? And then these little things underneath it are different things you can talk about. So like, if pillar one is mom, okay, and you have a boy and a girl, right? You could be like boy mom, girl mom, soccer mom, dance mom, whatever, right? Like different things that are related to being a mom, but they're different parts of it. Does that make sense? So like if it's marriage, right? It can be like funny things about marriage. It can be date nights. It can be like little tips that have worked for you in your marriage or whatever. Does that make sense? So I'm going to ask you guys some questions that'll kind of help figure out what these pillars are, but I just wanted you to see that sheet. Um, so let me find that thing that I, okay, here. So these are some questions that might help you get thinking of what your pillars are. Okay. So what do you enjoy? What makes you smile? And I'll put these in the chat too. Um, what makes you smile? What is a hobby that you enjoy doing? Who do you want to become? What do you feel confident talking about? And what do your followers, friends, or family think of when they think about you? So that last question is something you can ask people too. Like if you're just like stumped, text your best friend and be like, if you could name, like think of five things about me that like are unique to me, what would those things be? Right? So like my friends would be like, you're a pug mom and you're like obsessed with them. But here's what I want you to know with these things. These pillars don't need to be what you see other people's pillars are, right? Like if you have dogs, but you're like, meh, like they're just there. Don't feel like you have to post about your dogs all the time just because your leader posts about her dogs, right? Like if you're on my team, I'm obsessed with my dogs. Like it's a little bit bad, but that doesn't mean you have to be obsessed with your dogs to have that as a pillar, right? So think of what's super unique to you. Like I could never post about being like creative and doing crafts because like I kill every plant and ruin every craft I have ever tried. Like that's not my thing. So 
really think of what those pillars are. So I'll put those in the chat and put music on, but is there anything you want to add to that, Cassie? Honestly, just going off of what you said and not feeling like you have to fit into a certain box, like you were going on about like your um, leaders and things like that. You do not have to do it just because they do. Um, like she said, make it uniquely to you and make it something that you genuinely like talking about. Don't just put it because you feel like it's something you should talk about because I can tell you, you're not going to put as much energy into it if you feel like it's just something you should do. Also, um, it doesn't, none of these have to be like it works related. Like you don't have to put it works as one of them. Or, um, I mean, if you really, really genuinely like love coffee and that's like your thing, put coffee, but don't put coffee just because you talk about coffee a lot. These pillars are more like personal things that you like that are your core, if that makes sense. Yeah, and think of the things like, that maybe you don't, you're not super comfortable. Like you haven't posted about on Facebook yet. Like for, like, I've always loved makeup, but it took me a little bit to be able to go live and like talk about makeup on Facebook, but it's something that I love doing. And it's something that I can talk about very easily to my friends and family. So like, maybe think about that too. Like when you're talking to your friends and family or your mom or your best friends or your husband or whoever, what do you talk about a lot? What are the things that make you tick that you're like, I love talking about that. Or like maybe people like, it can be like a food thing. Like maybe you're obsessed with Cheetos. Like you just cannot get enough of them. Like that's okay. Like think of things that people can relate to you on. Does that make sense? Because you have to have things that aren't just like, I'm a networks robot and here I am. Like you have to have people connect to you in other reasons. So literally for the next 10 plus minutes, we're just gonna put music on. For you guys to really dig through this because I know a lot of people like put it too in the chat if you're like yeah I've heard of pillars and like seen these like bubbles and things to work on but I haven't done anything with it like I've never actually taken the time to do it myself and after you guys do this we're going to explain how to use them so yeah. it's not just this random thing we're doing yeah. so it's super important to do yeah so I'm going to put the questions again in the chat um so but please if you guys have questions about it you can message us just like in the chat here or um, like to everyone, or you can like direct message us to, and we'll answer those questions. But, um, we just really want you to dig deep into these and take the time to physically do them because it's going to make a lot more sense. And it's going to make huge impacts on your business. So I'll put music on and we'll just work on this for a little bit. Oh, put, um, done in the chat when you're like, I've got them done. <laughs> Yeah, I'll share my worksheet also, but just so you guys know, like, make sure you're not just doing your five pillars. You're trying to break it down into multiple different pieces too. So it's not just like the first five things. It's like breaking them down into at least three to four different things that you can talk about in that category. Okay. <laughs>
So I'm seeing a couple of questions. So you are working on, so like someone said, where do you find your pillars? These are like, you come up with them. So pillars are unique to everyone. Not everyone has the same pillars. So you have to just like look at yourself and figure out what your pillars are. Um, for picking one thing for each, try to keep the pillar part a little bit broader and then you can kind of go into detail. Like I said, with one of your pillars, if your mom can be a mom and then it can be like fun activities with your kids or like dance mom, basketball mom, like recipes, I don't know, whatever. I'm not a mom, so I don't know what that would be. Um, and then let's see. Are you filling this out? You don't have this sheet. I can, I'll share it into vision casters tonight. Um, so you guys can print it out if you want it. Um, but just kind of write it out yourself. It doesn't need to be anything fancy. You're not going to like post it or do anything like pretty with it. Um, but yeah, so breaking down the pillars into multiple things to talk about is the hardest part of it. So that's what I really want you to focus on. So like figure out how it like breaks down into different parts. So Sorry. No, you're okay. So someone's could be like traveling. It can be like past travel experiences, like some tips about traveling. It can be some places that you want to go. And it can be like questions that you ask other people about traveling, right? Like try to, trying to figure out those things or like, like for me with makeup, it can be going live. It can be showing my face without makeup at the same time saying that like, I love makeup, but also I'm okay being without it. Um, it can be asking questions about like, hey, I need a new mascara. Are there any tips or whatever? And it can be like sharing when I go buy new makeup, sharing that on my stories. So does that kind of help like how to break it down into different parts? Um, I know this part's kind of challenging. It's kind of hard to like really dig through this, um, but I promise it's super helpful. <laughs> Remember back in the day when you taught me to live and I taught you to pray. 
We went in the battle together, no matter the weather, we never delayed. You gave me commands, I always obeyed. I never let you go stray. We're gonna give you guys like five more minutes for this. I never thought I'd see the day that you would come up and betray me. Sick of playing silly games, you never love me anyway. You should not have let me get away, cause now I'm hungry for my prey. I'm bigger, I'm better, my mind is a weapon. I will never let up and try to break me down, and I'ma just get up there. Ask me how I did it, I'ma just tell them I rose up. I'm a survivor. Fight for my life. I'm a bit stronger. I'm a survivor. Fight for my life. Come on, that's stronger. I will arise. Staring at you from afar. Analyzing every scar. Asking myself how we got here. Remember, this is who we are. I am not here for revenge. I did not come to make amends. Not here to repent for my sins. I just came here to win. I just came here to end. I just came here to fight. Show you everything you said I couldn't be. I became overnight. This for the blood. This is for the tears. This is for my pain and my plight. Two walk in, but only one of us is walking out of here tonight. I'm a survivor. Fight for my life. Come on, let's struggle. I will arrive. Know you're clinging to the light of day to tell you everything's a okay. And medication don't do much. Yeah, it just numbs the brain. Guess you might say I'm a little intense. I'm on the bright side of being held. Take it from me, you're not the only one who can't see straight. If you were ever in doubt, don't sell yourself short. You might be bulletproof. Hard to move mountains when you're paralyzed, but you gotta try. So hopefully that was enough time for you guys to like kind of work through those and if not take your time to do those at the end like tonight after the zoom's over um, because it's super important to know those so um, I saw some questions in the chat about like what if some of your pillars are um, like controversial and I, we wanted to touch on that anyways here's the thing there are some things that are just not really great to talk about when you're running a business. I don't recommend talking about things that you know are going to cut off half of your network, right? Biggest one is politics. You're immediately cutting people off that your potential customers now aren't going to order from you if you're super strong with your politics. So I personally don't post anything about politics. Um, now, like Marianne's example was like hunting. That kind of is controversial, I guess, but that I wouldn't say is, I'm talking about things that are like very, very offensive. I was going to say offending and that's not a word, offensive to people. Those are the things that we want to avoid, right? So just know that it's your business on your new Facebook. So like, don't post a bunch of swear words. Don't do things that you might have done before that you're like, well, that's not really like, safe for a business to post. So just kind of remember that. So um, yeah, that's what I would say in regards to 
controversial. I wouldn't consider, Cassie, would you consider hunting? You can't unmute yourself. Great. You're like, help, please. <laughs> okay, you should be unmuted. I asked to unmute you. No? Is it not letting you? Yeah. Okay, there we go. There we go. Okay, I was sitting here talking. I was like, why is she not shutting up? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just playing. Um, sorry. No, I was basically just going to say that, um, like, I mean, I guess you kind of said it while I was waiting to be unmuted, so it doesn't matter. Um, but things that are also like hot topics that are controversial and stuff like that. I mean, there's always going to be people who disagree with what you do. I'm a mom and literally anything I do could be controversial in the mom world. Like, you know what I mean? So don't really like look into it too deep. It's really just like on the main surface, like political or swearing all the time or posting like crude jokes or stuff like you know what I mean something that might like turn people away from you if it turns one person out of a thousand you're probably not going to relate to that person anyways right. and you want people you're going to relate to so but if it's going to like Courtney said take out half of the people that's really what matters you want yeah. to not yeah. go too deep on like and, controversial and make content. sure what you're posting isn't like condescending to other people like you're not talking down about someone else's opinions because that's the stuff we want to stay away from so with posting what a big part of branding yourself is knowing your story and sharing your story so a big part of that is looking at like where have you come from right? Like what parts of your childhood can you share? What parts of your, like for me, everyone knows they've seen my story a million times. I was like $15,000 in debt when I started this company and I was 21 and I had no idea where it came from. So what are those parts of your story that you can share that are going to connect to people? Because the reason for branding yourself and knowing your pillars is to give people a reason to come back and look at your page, right? So knowing what your story is and being loud about your story is going to get people to connect to you because if you only always post about your story is so great and life is rainbows and butterflies and you've never experienced anything bad in your entire life people aren't going to relate to you because they're like that's great but like i'm over here struggling and you don't sound like you've ever struggled so that's what i would say a little bit about your story what would you say cass i was also just gonna say that um <clears throat> being real and being you is so important and like you like you said you don't have to be rainbows and butterflies all the time and it's almost better if you're not and telling your story is huge and you don't have to be through your story like you don't have to be on the other end like success is yours already and I know a lot of people are like well I don't have a story yet I haven't even done anything yet. That's, that's okay. You can still tell the people, like tell everyone like what you're going through, what you've been through, things about your past. Like it doesn't have to be like even money related. It doesn't always have to. Like, obviously if you were that much in debt and you've been in for however long and you've made this much money, share that story, share that for sure. But if you did just join and you did just start and you don't feel like you have that success story to really share, that's okay. You can share other things about your life, like how you used to not have very many friends or you didn't have a really close friend group, but it works, brought you those people or things like that. Um, even not it works related stories about your life. That's, that's good too. It's all part of your story. So don't feel like it has to be specific or you have to be through it, if that makes sense. You can talk about things you're going through now. Yeah. And don't feel like we said a little bit earlier, don't feel like your story has to be what your readers looks like because you are you and that is exactly who you're supposed to be. And that's exactly who you need to be. So a lot of times what happens when I asked earlier, like who doesn't get a lot of interaction and you see your leaders like getting 200 comments and you're like, I've gotten four, like what is going on? So what happens with a lot of that is you try, and I've done this before, and I, and I shared this story at conference, for the longest time, I thought I had to be blonde to be successful in the business, which we all know doesn't make sense, right? Like the number one income earner has like black hair, okay? I don't know why I thought that, but I did. And I legitimately tried to dye my hair blonde twice, okay? Hi, I have very thick hair. My hair does not go blonde. It goes orange. It is not cute, okay? So we all have these things of who we think we have to be to be successful in the business, right? So we want to make sure that you guys know if you're trying to be like me or like Cassie or like Allie or Amy or Ashley or whoever you're trying to be like, you're stopping yourself from being you. 
And that's where your power is. So that's where we wanted to do this like task, I guess, or whatever about figuring out what your pillars are, because that's what is going to make people connect to you. That's how you're going to boost those interactions. Because when you start knowing what your pillars are, that's kind of the friend group you look for, right? So you want to add people. If you're a baker, right? You're going to add people that like to bake because then they can connect to those posts. If you're a pug mom, I have pug people and y'all, I don't know if you know pug people, they're obsessed with pugs, all of them. They're all great. Okay. So I have pug friends and that's what I do because it, then people connect to me, right? So knowing who, like what your pillars are makes it a lot easier for you to grow your network and for you to post because you're posting through those pillars. And also when you know your pillars, I'm gonna give you guys permission right now, you can unfriend people, okay? If you see someone post and you're like, oh, I don't connect to you in any way, shape or form. Like you and I are not friends. Like we just would not mesh it's okay to unfriend them because by doing that, you're opening up space in your Facebook friends for people that are going to connect to you, that are going to love you. And it's okay, you guys, I want you to get to a part or get to a point in your Facebook where you like going on because the people in your network are your people. You connect to them, right? So um, I just kind of went off on a tangent, but that's a big part of your story. And I saw someone say that I feel uninteresting. Okay. Me. I, Cassie's like, hi, me also. I don't think anyone's like, wow, I feel super interesting. We all live very similar lives, right? Like the most interesting thing about me is I have two pugs and I got married in a pandemic. Like, it's really not that interesting. Like it's just not. So that's why it's so important to dig into your pillars about figuring that out so that you can grow through those pillars. Um, so can you use losing weight to join the military? Yeah, you can so talk about that. Like your weight loss journey on the way to join the military. That's, you so can. And those so are the huge. things. That's a huge thing. Yeah, and other people are going to relate to that. If they're on a weight loss journey, it might not be to join the military, but maybe it's to be able to spend, like do activities with their kids or whatever. Um, what would you say to people that feel uninteresting or like they can't connect to people because there's like not a lot going on? I would just say really, really dig into those pillars. And it doesn't have to be things that you are right now. What if it's things that you want to be doing, things that you want to be? I mean, I miss playing volleyball. Maybe that could be something that I go into or something that you want to be doing, but maybe you're not and you don't feel like you're really digging into it. Not only will that take your pillars up and get you back interested in things you want to be interested in, but it'll spice up your life even more because you'll be like, oh yeah, I remember that I want to do that. You know what I mean? Because life can get so busy and we forget like that there are things that we want to do outside of work and bills and kids and marriage and all of that good stuff. And so these pillars can really help you. Like if you, especially if you feel uninteresting, it helps you be like, oh yeah, this, this is who I am. I, I'm this. Like I put down writer and, um, you know what, it's been forever since I really wrote anything other than a post, but I'm starting a new book soon because I really dug into this business and I remembered, I love writing and I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I love writing. And so I started writing more and it all came from this business. So it just doesn't have to be things you are right now, just things you want to be or like, you know, would like to do. If that makes yeah. sense. Like think of like in a dream world, like maybe you would love to go travel more, but you're not doing it now. You can still have travel as one of your pillars if it like feeds your soul, right? Like think of the things that if you did, it made you happy. Not the things, hey, that, go ahead. I was just going to say, like, imagine you take away bills, you take away stress, like literally all of your stress. All of your, I mean, if you're a mom, take away being a mom, take away being a wife, take away all of it, set it aside. I mean, obviously some of those are your pillars. So like, you know what I mean? But set that aside and then be like, what's left? What do I want to do? If all of that was gone. Obviously it's not, but you know what? I, you guys know what I'm saying, okay? All of that was gone. What would you do with your time? And those are the things. Yeah. So we wanted to do this because we really want to help you guys connect to your people more because we know 
I've been in this business for almost five years now. I know that the more vulnerable and authentic to myself I am, the better my business is. The more interaction I have, the more customers I get. Not only because they can connect to me more, but I'm a lot happier going on social media when I'm just me, right? So for a long time, it took me a while to just take pictures without makeup on because I felt like I had to look perfect all the time, right? And it's so freeing to just let yourself be you. But a big part of being you and connecting to other people is sharing your face, okay? <laughs> Whether that means you, like, if you're, here's, here's what I'm gonna say about this. Sharing your face means sharing your face how you normally are, okay? Like I just said, for the longest time, if I was gonna do a live video, I spent two hours doing my makeup to go live for five minutes, right? Like that's what I felt like I had to do, but there is power in who you are in everyday life. And what kind of woke me up is I went to um, my in-laws and she said, you look so different on Facebook than you do here. And I was like, well, it's rude. Like, thanks a lot. And she's like, no, I'm not saying that in a bad way, but like you put this front on Facebook that you look perfect all the time when you come to my house. And I don't even know if you brush your hair that day. Like you're just like a hot mess. And I was like, you're so right. Because at that time I wasn't connecting with anyone because I felt like I had to look perfect and be perfect and wear these cute outfits and like look like a blogger, right? I'm in a large sweatshirt that's I think men's from Target, okay? I don't, like I am not a fashionable person. I'm just not, and that's okay. So when we say share your face, share your face how you are. Just go on and do like today on my story. I was like, listen, I've seen a lot of people talk about these mini waffle makers. Anyone else seen them everywhere? These stupid mini waffle makers. I've seen them everywhere. And I was like, do I need one or is it a waste of money? Right. It was like a five second story, but that's people connecting to me because there are people, there was three people that swiped up and they're like, oh my God, I've seen those everywhere. And I can't figure out if they're worth it or not. So <laughs> it can just be little things like, you showing your face as you're like walking into Target and been like, well, another day of me going to Target when I don't need to go to Target. Like things like that is what's going to connect people to you. Yeah. Let me um, break this down for you. So let's say right now you're doing, you're, you're doing that. You're getting ready for two hours. Not only is that wasting a lot of time, but um, you're getting ready for so much stuff and you just want to look perfect and you don't really want to show your face a whole lot, but you'll take like that perfect picture and you'll post the exact same things that your enroller is posting, but you're not getting in there any action in there. Oh, guys, I can't speak any interaction, but, um, they're getting interaction and you're like, what the frick? But then you, you give up on that and you start doing what we're talking about and you're showing your face and you're being you and you're posting about your pillars. And what happens is slowly people see you and they're like, oh my gosh, this girl's a hot mess. I'm a hot mess. And they heart your story or something. And then you post it, you post a host a post and they pop up and you pop up in their feed and they like and comment and things like that. And then you have a conversation and then maybe they end up being a distributor. It's, it literally works like that. And the more you show your face, like on your stories and on lives, I will be, I will be honest. I did stories a lot sooner than I did lives because it feels a little less pressured. So if you're not ready to do a live yet, go get on your stories. It's such an easy way to be like, it's just my story. Nobody's going to see it. Obviously people are going to see it, but <laughs> um, it's a lot less pressured. And even if you're just talking about little waffle makers, like there's going to be someone who is like, oh my gosh, yes, that's all I've seen. And they're going to click your poll. And then all of a sudden you pop up in their feed. That's just how it works. And then all of a sudden you have the 200 people coming on your host of posts because you're being you and people are going to be drawn to that. If and people can tell, people can tell when they're like, I don't feel anything from this girl because you're literally a copy and paste button. I'm not saying you can't take posts and like make them you. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying like showing your face can get you that interaction. And that's how it can literally transform this to suddenly you get hosts of posts, suddenly you have potential lists, suddenly you have all of these things that you're, you're you used to be like, I have nothing. Nobody comments on nothing. Nobody does anything. I can't even get a single host to post up. Just go out of limb. And I know it is scary. I literally, a year ago, my, yesterday was my anniversary. And a year ago, I could tell you that I would have probably 
peed my pants if you asked me to do this. <laughs> this Zoom, just uh, seriously, like even Zoom, I would have been like, uh, no, no, can't do that. Sorry, no thanks. And I couldn't get on a story. I couldn't do any of those things. And it took me probably eight months to finally figure it out. But I did it and I can tell you I sucked. You have to be bad before you're good, good before you're great, and great before you're amazing. You have to suck at it. <laughs> That's all I'm going to say. If you haven't done it, you haven't showed your face, you're not going to be good the first few times. I mean, maybe you are. If you are, you're that anomaly and you're amazing. And like, I, I credit you, but it's okay to be mad. We were all bad at first. So don't look at your upline and be like, well, she's perfect at this. She doesn't stumble over words. She doesn't, she knows what she's talking about. Like, I don't know nothing. That's okay. I literally will stutter like I did just a minute ago in my stories and I'll just post it anyways because next time I won't you know so just and also if you're too perfect people can't relate to you because they're like oh I could never do that business because she looks perfect and talks perfect and is perfect and lives a perfect life how many of you okay put it we all know who Jade Hooper is love watching Jade Hooper because she's just like the most herself ever right like she's walking out and she's like yelling at her dogs and then she's like okay sorry hang on and then yells at her kids like she's just her and it's refreshing to watch because a lot of times we get caught up in social media and looking a certain way and acting a cer certain way and talking a certain way and just being this perfect version of yourself when you're your truest self people are going to love you for it so the one thing that I want to talk about with posting is how many of you put a, I don't know, we're going to put a zero in the chat. If you're like, sometimes I just don't know what to post. Like, I just feel like I'm hitting a brick wall. Like, I don't know what to say at this point. So the reason for these pillars is so that you can look at them when you're like, okay, I need a business post. Maybe your past four of them have been about your debt-free journey. Okay. You can switch it to, okay, how can I make my business post now about traveling or now about my kids or now about my husband or now about crafting, okay? You might look at crafting in your business like two totally different things that you're like, they're not like connected, right? But maybe this business has given you extra money and extra time that you can go buy those extra materials for crafting and spend that time doing what you love. Right? Do you see how I just turned your crafting into a now business post that people can relate to? Because if you're working through your pillars and you're adding people through craft, like that like crafting or whatever it is, they're gonna see that post and be like, man, I wish I had extra money to go buy new materials for crafting. Man, I wish I had time to like just spend and whatever, right? So the other thing is though, when you're posting, I want you to think of your pillars and ask yourself, do, does this post fit in those things? Okay. So if I post a picture of my dogs, right. And I'm posting whatever, if you went and copied that post and you don't really like your dog, it would not fit into your pillars. Okay. So just because it worked for someone else doesn't mean it's going to work on your page because it should fit into your pillar, right? That's how you're going to create that culture of your network so that people interact. So like if you, like Cassie said, if you haven't, go join groups of those pillars. I add pug people through pug pages, okay? Like I add makeup people through makeup pages. Like just be a friend. Now I'm not saying go join a group and add 600 people. What I do, how I add through groups and Cassie, I don't know if you have any tips about how you add. What I do is I ask a question in the group. So I'll say like in a pug one, I asked when um, our first puppy got neutered, I asked a question about it. And there was like 17 people that commented and I added all of them. Guess what? Every single one accepted my friend request because they knew who I was. And they're like, hey, we connect on pugs. I know who you are. Yes. Um, disclaimer though, don't add them and then message them about the business. Yes. Don't do that. Mm -hmm. um, you want to add them because they're going to watch your feed now and then you're going to become friends and maybe you message them not business related and you're like oh my gosh your bug is so cute if it's a pug group and then you just talk for a little bit and that's it and then yeah. you back away and then they watch you because then they're like I like this girl you want to make a good impression first you don't want to be like because if you cold message them like that they will immediately be like unad you know yeah so, so 
interact with them as a friend for a while before you even mention the business. Did you meet yourself again? It's fine. It's all fine. Um, Elizabeth said she made friends from an autoimmune disease group. That's awesome. That's a great way to it, see. That's exactly what we're talking about. That's how you grow through your pillars because you want people to connect with you on something. Because if someone comes to my page and they can't connect with me on anything, chances are they're not going to buy from me. If they cannot connect, well, they might buy from me. They're not going to join my team if they can't connect with me on anything. If they can't connect to any part of my story or any part of my life, they are not joining my business. They're just not. Are you putting lip and eye on your lips, like as a lip? <laughs> Yeah. Very confused. I've only ever used that as an eye cream. I was like, what are you doing? Oh, I um, use it on my lips. So that's exactly what you're supposed to do because that is how when and you'll find when you start working through your pillars, you will find that your interaction boosts like crazy. You will find that your enrollments also boosts like crazy because you're working through who you are and you're knowing who you are and you're confident in that and you're not trying to be anyone else. So your posts will come off, come off super authentic, which is what we want, right? So what I challenge you to do, if you're comp like copying a post from one of your leaders, I want you to read it out loud, like physically read it out loud. If it sounds weird coming out of your mouth, it sounds weird reading on your page. Okay. If it says like, they're like, I call people babe all the time. I don't know why I just do. If you've never called someone babe, don't put babe in your post. Or like sis, some people call people sis. If you don't call people sis in life, don't put sis on your post, okay? So that is a huge part of it. And just even like your random posts too, like I struggled or I used to struggle with what my random posts would be. But now that I know my pillars, I can just look and say, hey, how can I post through these? Where is something I can find in one of these pillars that it stays on trend with who I want to be that I can just put something up real quick? So is there anything else you want to add? I guess <clears throat> the last thing about branding yourself, because we've pretty much covered a lot of it, um, would be just making sure that your page is cohesive um, and not random. Like, make, I'm not saying that you have to have an exact system and every third post is this or whatever, um, but just make sure that it's cohesively you and you're not like, doing your pillars and you're doing so good and then randomly you'll throw something that's like totally off the wall totally not you whatever um, because it breaks up that and then if you do that too many times people will scroll your page and be like what i don't even know <laughs> you want it to be cohesive and you want everything to look together and like you i'm not saying that every per picture has to be edited the same way i'm not saying like all, any of that but make sure that there is a cohesiveness to it and that it looks clean so that when someone clicks on your profile because i can guarantee you the first thing they do when they see a friend request from you is they click on your profile and if you've got you know a bunch of random stuff at the top like make sure it's just clean and very like presentable if that makes sense attractive in like a business way if that makes sense also i mean this is not a posting thing but just another friendly reminder don't share anything Please, for the love of God, don't share anything. Okay. Sharing is the devil. It's so bad. Does anyone have any last minute questions before we end this? Did anyone feel like this was helpful? Did it kind of like help you help it click of like why like pillars are super important and how it's going to help you? Even though it's it's challenging. Like we all know this. Like we weren't doing this Zoom like, oh my God, this is the easiest, most fun thing in the world. It's super hard to figure out what your pillars are and what you're going to post through. But knowing that, is so helpful for your business. So um, sharing is, it just is horrible for your algorithm. It immediately tells Facebook that you're not posting anything original and you will get zero interaction, just so you know. Um, if but you I really, go ahead. So if you really like a quote or a meme or something that you see, take it and save it and post it. And if you are one of those people who like freak out about like, you really want to give credit to the person, give credit in the text. Like just, I'm telling you, it'll save your algorithm and it'll be seen as original content versus yeah. sharing stuff all the time. Yeah. So just really work on this. Um, sharing the monthly hat drawing is awesome. You can totally still do that. That's still fine. We're just saying more so for like your lifestyle posts, your random posts, like those two is really where you want to know 
what your pillars are is for that so that it's really like you know who you are it's going to help you with posting it's going to help you with adding friends it's going to help you with unfriending people um and just really boosting your interaction so hopefully this was helpful um it is live on our group but i also will put it up on my youtube so you have it there um, but if you guys have any questions message cassie or i on facebook and we will answer them for sure so 